What up y'all, in this video, I'll walk you step by step through some exercises that will get you very comfortable with the F blues progression. The goal with these exercises is to memorize and master the F blues progression at a fundamental level. We'll accomplish this by knowing the chords and the related scales and arpeggios that you'll need. So get that horn out of the case and let's get started. The first set of exercises is dedicated to walking a simple bass line by playing only the roots in quarter notes. Since we're B flat instruments playing F blues, our first chord is going to be G7. I'll have the sheet music on the screen so you can play along with me. One, two, three, four. Practicing the progression in this way helps you ingrain the sound of the root motion in this chord progression. And it also trains you to know how long each chord is being played. Let's play another roots only bass line, but let's add a note on beat four. By adding another note on beat four, we train ourselves to think ahead to the next chord. This note is gonna be one half step below the root of the next chord. One, two, three, four. Now let's move on to the arpeggios. The first arpeggio is G7, which is played G, B, D, F. Then the next arpeggio is C7, which is played C, E, G, B flat. Our next arpeggio is C sharp diminished seven, which is C sharp, E, G, B flat. Then we have E7, which is E, G sharp, B, D. Then we have A minor seven, A, C, E, G. And lastly, D7, which is D, F sharp, A, C. Let's play these arpeggios in time, all ascending. One, two, three, four. Now let's play these arpeggios descending, starting on the seventh and landing on the root. One, two, three, four. For extra challenge, let's alternate the direction. So on one chord, let's go up, and the next chord, let's go down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It's time to reverse the order now. Let's descend on one chord and ascend on the next chord. One, two, three, four. Let's
let's talk about the scales that we're going to use in this progression. The first scale is the G dominant scale or the G mixolydian scale, which use the same notes as C major. Next is the C mixolydian scale, which are the same notes as F major. If you're not familiar with these two scales, the C major and the F major scale, I'll link up top the tutorials I created so you can check it out. For that C sharp diminished seventh chord, we're gonna use a D harmonic minor scale. But we're gonna start on the seventh scale degree. Then we have E mixolydian for that E7, which use the same notes as A major. Our last two scales come from the G major scale, which is that A Dorian scale for the A minor seventh chord. And that D mixolydian scale for the D seven chord. Let's play these scales throughout the chord progression, just like we did for the arpeggios, but let's start with ascending, starting from the root and only going up to the seventh. One, two, three, four. Now let's descend these scales throughout the progression, starting from the seventh and going down to that root. One, two, three, four. I discovered that practicing these exercises has helped me gain some basic facility over tunes that I want to learn and improvise over. And it makes the process much easier for creating lines because I know and can play the basic scales and arpeggios available. Comment below your favorite ways that you like to practice the F blues progression. If you're new, then subscribe to the channel where I upload trumpet tutorials and practice tips every week. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Aaron, the Black Trumpeter, and I'll see you in the next video.